Let's hit the buttons uh, and say hello to the Yubtubs and let's play some more one, shall we? Okay, let's load in. Hopefully the game runs a little bit better this week than it has uh, last last week. Yeah, last week. What the fuck were we doing? Okay, we got a bed and we slept. I see that much. We were doing a quest. I remember one thing. I don't remember where we are. But I remember we were trying to get the guy's pants back for him. And no matter, like, what we did, it would not fucking work. And I was thinking about it that night. There's only two things I can think of. One, it's either only possible to get the pants from stealing from him, which I don't have a high enough skill to do that, I don't believe. Killing him, which I'd rather not do. Or... We have to be really good fucking friends. I remember we were around like 70 or something with him. Like we were friendly with him, but he wasn't like in love with us. You know what I mean? So maybe if we get him, I mean, I hope it doesn't have to be like to a fucking hundred or anything, but maybe if we get his liking us up a little bit more, then maybe we stand a chance. The real question is, where was that? That I don't remember. Uh, and also, where are we? I don't I don't remember that in either. We're in Auld Rune, okay. But why are we here? Is there... Aha, right there. That is where we want to go. Can I come touch your beard? I mean, if you really want... It's a little weird to, like, drive all the way here just to get a feel of the beard, okay. but... If that's what you want to do, my guy, who am I to tell you no, you know? Why were we here even? I feel like we were here because we were searching for something. Oh, at the end of last stream, that is one other thing we did decide. At the end of last stream is that uh, we we're allowed to use a map. <laughs> because like, there's nothing tells you where anything is. So there's a map. I don't have it pulled up at the moment, but we are allowed to use just like a basic map. Was it Nissus? It might have been Nissus. Hold on. I need to pull up the map, actually. This one. It was... Was it Narmok? I know it was up here somewhere. Maybe... Yeah, okay. Maybe it was Nissus. We're going to Nissus. I think that's where the pants are. If not, then we'll figure something out. Give it a good crunch. What the we fuck? A special I, I, my beard's not really like Save crunchy, you know? Price. I don't like moisturize it, even though I probably should, but I don't. But I wouldn't describe it as crunchy. That's a little weird. Who are you? Are you the person Speak we're looking for? Uh, no. Not tonight. I don't have pants on and I'm not putting them on. Can I get the TV too? Yeah, man. Come on over. Uh, You might have to fight with Noodle a little bit because apparently she's not wearing pants and refusing to. Like... <laughs> You're done getting made fun of when you have people over for your small ass TV. Your TV is fucking small, my guy. Like, you know, size doesn't matter at the end of the day and all that, but I'm just saying, it's pretty it's pretty small, pants. dude. Pants! What do you want Hentis's pants? That Swit couldn't put them on without hope. Okay. So we know nothing about his demeanor. I'm going to do we just pay him? Intimidate, taunt, admire. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well. There we go. 99 out of 100. He's basically in love with us <laughs> at this point. And I noticed pants lit back up. Pants. If you wanted the pants that bad, why didn't you say so? Here, take them. It was a stupid joke anyways. My God, dude. I don't know why that didn't work last time. I'm pretty sure last time we gave him like 400 gold. But this time we gave him a couple hundred gold and suddenly he's basically in love with us. It still sucks that we had to pay like 200 gold to just get this guy's Sweet pants talent. back. Like, but you know, whatever. Give him his pants. Have some Hackalo. Here, take this. Thanks for getting my pants back. Three Hackalo leaf. We basically paid 200 gold for three Hackalo leaf, which are probably worth a few gold each, is my guess. Hackalo leaf. Miscellaneous. Magic. It's probably under magic right here. Uh, it's worth 
is each one worth 30 or are they worth 30 as a whole regardless at most we paid 200 gold for 90 good 90 gold worth of value like bruh no pants revolution he has to switch them out still oh yeah i do have to switch them out still noodles watching the one i mean you can do that while you're here you too you're a grown man you know how to switch out a tv right so with this game and getting pants back this dude needs his pants he went bathing and he got his pants stolen you probably wouldn't be too happy if somebody stole your pants while you're bathing either uh, the beauty and the bandit that's what we were actually working toward okay so we're supposed to be heading for just a da -da, tell Arun A R U H N A R quick save in case crash A R U H N map <laughs> not Final Fantasy not Final Fantasy not Final Fantasy why do I have so many Final Fantasy maps uh Morrowind. Morwen game map. A R U H N. I think I said it was. Telerun. Okay, so it is on the eastern string of islands. So we are on basically the wrong side of the world. Is there a boat here by any chance? Oh, what's with games? Just games in general. Yeah, Mayor Lewis did lose his pants. This is true. But he, I mean, you don't have to give him his pants back. It's funny. You can actually, I don't know if uh, you know this, but you can do things with his pants. Like, uh, there's that event where you get to set up a little, I will listen. Um, like a little stall, right? And everybody comes and checks out your produce and then you get raided on it and whatnot. You can, if you so please display mayor lewis's pants there and he's not too happy about it i think it's safe to say uh but you can do it and i'm pretty sure whenever citizen nice security skill increased to eight we had a security skill of seven anyways uh whenever there's like that potluck i'm pretty sure you can put his pants in the potluck as well, which is uh, interesting. IMO. Let's eat some more meat. I like meat because he's a hoe. Wow. That is rude. What time is it? Why does it look so dark? I thought we slept until like, until like morning, like seven o'clock or something. Did I accidentally sleep till seven o'clock at night? maybe i'm just trying to like follow this river down to somewhere that has a boat because we're trying to get somewhere where we probably need to travel by boat in a potluck yeah in a potluck well like it's a just like a giant pot of soup and everybody just puts like their choice of ingredients in it so it's not what like i grew up knowing a potluck as but i think that's what they call it in the game just don't ever knowing he's hooking up with Marnie. Yeah, but like, honestly though, if you display his pants in your, what's it called, like Range or whatever, in your display, wouldn't everybody just think you're hooking up with the mayor? Or maybe you have like some weird fetish and you're breaking into the mayor's house and stealing his pants? Like my head would go to one of those possibilities before I thought, oh yes, of course, he's hooking up with Marnie, you know? Like that's just so far out of left field in those situations why would anybody suspect that also we're going the complete wrong direction i wanted to go south towards some of the other villages and i was heading north because yeah yeah it doesn't make the stew very good really you don't like putting mayor lewis's shorts in stew you don't you don't think that'd make it extra tasty it's like uh in fairly odd parents you know whenever um Cosmo takes off his sock and dips it in the the lemonade to make the lemonade extra tasty and also slightly magical. That's what happens when you put Mayor Lewis's pants in your in your uh, your stew. It's just funny where they're found. Oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. That is like the point, right? Him and him and 
Marnie are hooking up, and that's why you find them where you find them and whatnot. Like, I'm not denying that at all. It's just like, I don't know why anybody would think that in that situation. To call them shorts, I'm just assuming it's really his under- Yeah, no, they are. They're his, like, boxer shorts. Boxer briefs sort of things. That's what, uh, that's what they're talking about when they call it his shorts. Bro, it is dark out here. Do you guys have a boat? You're right on the water. It would make sense for you to have some sort of travel by boat. It would really help me out if you did. Do we go down there? Do we go towards that building? I think we go this way. Yes, this way looks more correct. Maybe not. <laughs> this way is just leading towards the water. Can we get like a local view here? Where's the actual town? That's a keep. That's the ancestral tombs, egg mines, pine chambers, bruh. Okay. Uh, no, that's Nissus. What the fuck? So shit. There's not. There's nothing over here. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep heading south then, I guess. Do we cross the water though? No, we shouldn't cross the water. I do want to like explore more, unlock more of the map, but the water's dangerous, man. Chogobo, what's up, man? Welcome, my guy. Can't you also display them as a flag on your farm too? Bruh, I have no idea, but that's hilarious if you can. I kind of hope you can, because that would be great. I can't Ruther, see it. I just redeemed vote on a game Holy X25. Shit, dude, 25? Oh, would you look at this? Let's put this towards me absolutely favorite game, shall we? So Pets Dogs 2, right? Bro, it took me way too long to think of a shit game. Uh. <laughs> now I'm assuming Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Hey, I get votes. Friends? Friends? Okay, well I have to do I have to do your friends' votes now. So I don't do your friends' votes now, I will forget. PS2 collection list. Yee yee yee. I got you. I knew what you meant, Rue. I just had to pick on you. Poorly. But. Friends. Friends. Up to 16 votes. There we go. Alright. Back in we go. Still funny, bro. Would have been better if the, like, delivery was a little bit better, you know? Like, if I was able to think if my mind worked at more than about three frames a second i'm running an old like pentium one up there you know got a little bit of lag man you just gotta let it gotta let it load for a minute gotta let it i don't know <laughs> i can't can't fucking think dude i don't know i'm just saying shit don't listen to me Pokemon lovers, I didn't mention when you found out, but Clefairy and Teddy Ursa are joining the Squish Squad. Yeah, no, they do look really cute. She sent me, like, uh, what they were drawings of them, of what they, they expect them to more or less look like, and they do look really cute, I gotta admit. Have an idea of what made it obvious, but what made you realize that no account was me? It was the... I mean, I can tell you. Do you want to know? I'm assuming you want to know. It was the picture. I clicked on it. Because uh, the fact that I got a follower while I was offline, I was like, that's weird. So I clicked on the account to see if it was just like some sort of spam or some other sort of like BS, you know. And then I saw the picture and I was like, oh, that's Rue, dude. I know. I know him. I know Rue. Rue's a friend. So then I followed you back. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's, that's the whole story of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. I'm falling and I can't get up. Help, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Die. Ooh, look at the pretty flowers. Stone flowers. Do you turn to stone if you eat them? Or do the flowers turn to stone at some point? Do you get stoned if you eat them? I have a feeling that's the actual answer. I'm scared to, like, go too far down this hill, because we might just start sliding down the hill. 
There we go. Sorry. I saw flowers and I had to pick them. I couldn't help it. Sorry to freak you out over there. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you're good, man. It's not like I was freaked out or anything. I was just like, who the hell's following when I'm not even online, you know? It has happened before, and I, I usually assume it's like, oh, somebody saw a VOD or YouTube or something like that and was like, this guy's decent. I'll give him a follow. So usually I assume usually I assume it's it's just like a bot or something. Usually it is, and that follower doesn't stick around for long because that channel gets deleted or whatever. Um, but every once in a while, there there is what appears to be a legit one. So I just clicked because I was curious, saw the picture, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's a dude. I was hoping that's what it was because he went out. <laughs> it worked then. It definitely worked. Ah, get wrecked. Nick sound. Who's who's angry? This is people are angry music, but I don't see angry people. Hello? Somebody want to die? Not you guys. Or me. We don't count. In the game. I don't see anybody. Did the music just glitch out, maybe? So, how do I get to the town over there? This, what appears to be a path just ends right here. Oh, there's a building here. Wait, what are you? Are you a Nick Sound? You're a Kwama worker. I say, you don't look like the Nick Sounds we've been fighting, dude. Oh, you're another egg mine. I wonder if you're the same one that we explored once upon a time. Just like a different outlet for it or something. It's been so long, I'm really not sure, but... Oh, sorry, Scrib. I, I don't actually have a problem with you. It's these ones that we hate. No, it's not you. Maybe this island down here. Maybe that's where we're trying to get to. We just need to find somewhere we can travel by boat. And if nothing else, then I mean we're still walking in the right general direction. So it's not a bad thing either way, I suppose. But finding a boat would be really handy. Having this healing spell is massive too, by the way. Like, even though it fails half the time we cast it, I'm still really happy about having it. And it gives us a way to slowly build our restoration skill, which is nice. We tested it. We can just spam it and build it without, like, actually doing anything, like, when our health is full. But I've decided to mostly save it for whenever we need it. Although, if I remember, like, before we go to bed, I'll spam it out, you know, use all the MP we have before we go to bed for the extra XP on it. I'm just happy we can actually hit shit again. Or just in general, man. It's like, missing every damn swing makes everything so much harder. So now that our experience is high, en high enough, our skill level is high enough to just hit shit is huge, man. Makes this game so much easier. And honestly, just more enjoyable, you know? <laughs> like... The fact that we're one-shotting everything is a little bit much, I feel like. But what do you want from me? We're level 7. Our, just to make sure nothing got fucked up. Yeah, our difficulty's still set to 21. So everything's still to plan. There's a... Wasn't there a thing over here we were meant to kill and never did? Because, like, it was kicking our ass? Wasn't that over here? Or I'm pretty sure it was over here somewhere. Do we try to fight it now? Or do we like go and into town. See if we can fight a bed first. Ah oh, fuck it. We'll run away. <laughs> oh my god. The game is fucking up hard though. Okay. Quick save. Oh we forgot to hard save. Hopefully there's like an auto save. After we did the pant quest. Okay. Just to be safe. We do have fireball. We only have a 24% chance for it to work, but... Come on. 
Let's go. Bro, that did damage too. Let's go. The problem is... Okay, okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> we running, boys. <laughs> the problem is... I can't hit him. <laughs> That's the problem. Like... I don't have enough magicka. Son of a bitch, dude. Alright. Fine. If we could hit him, I feel like we would be okay. But for some reason, like, I... I what are you doing out there? Why are you, like, right on the road? Okay, well, we're not in combat right now. So... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chance zero. Soothing bomb. Chance 50. That's the one we want. Okay, that should be enough health that we don't instantly die if this whatever the fuck it's called tries to fight us. Kind of surprised it's not. Oh, you are trying to fight us. Okay. Hope you're dead. See? <laughs> That's why I don't understand you, man. Why were you trying to fight us? Someone moving the bull upstairs? Well, yeah. Are you surprised? Charlotte's never going to get to eat again. Sweet. You want some. Anytime you're ready. Just can we use the hammock? Waiting. We can! Let's go! Okay. Uh, well, hold on. Do you guys, like, sell anything or anything? You're a trainer. Oh, you just do straight-up athletics training? That's cool. Um, medium armor, long blade. We don't have much in the way of money. Oh, yeah, no. Anyways, what I was saying, we got, like, slow feeders, you know? Um, just bowls that are harder for cats to eat out of. Not impossible, just harder for them to eat out of. And uh, she is not a fan of it at all. Why do you approach? There we go. Barter. Do you buy everything or just specific things? You will buy the soul gems. Uh... I don't want to sell these books because I don't know if we like need them for something. I thought we stored them forever ago, but obviously not. I'll sell all of this stuff. I'm keeping the crab meat. Crab meat seems fine to keep. I don't have any extra apparel, weapons. Yeah, we really didn't have that much to sell, but yeah, I'll still sell it to you. Is there anything that you have that I want, though? No. Uh, well, that's fine. Do you fill water? You do. Fill the flask. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, now I'm gonna have a rest. It's 11 a.m. Let's sleep for... Shit, it's only 11 a.m. Let's just take a... Like an eight-hour nap. Oh, good. Our uh, Magicka is completely restored in that time. So if you wanted to, you could just like rest an hour or two, cast a spell over and over again, rest an hour or two, and then just repeat that ad infinium, like, and get your skills up. Which, I mean, would be kind of a cheaty way of doing things, but you could do it. Speaking of cheaty... Wait, are you... Are you the guy? can't tell if you're the guy. Oh shit, I forgot to save again. The guards are trying to hit him too, but they can't hit him either. Nobody can hit this thing. <laughs> this thing is impossible to hit. Wait, what if I... Okay, well, you know what? Hold on. I'm coming back to bed, and I'm actually going to save this time and maybe eat some food, too. Like, eating so some food watch? sounds like a good idea. The problem is, is that that thing also seems to heal whenever we come in here. Um, but, okay, let's drink water so we're not thirsty. Eat some, some meat so we're not hungry. Save. Stream 12. 
She came flying downstairs when you fed the other Anytime two. Would I like a sip of your drink? What kind of drink do you have this time? Because, I mean, I had a sip of your drink earlier. Did you make another drink? Something new? Can I jump, like... Because if I could hit him with my axe, I feel like we would be doing okay, you know? Son of a bitch. Just peach and orange this time? Well, I've had that before. Son of a bitch, dude. Oh, come on, man. I need up on this roof. Oh, let's go. Okay. Now, can you come over here? Come on. Don't fail the spell. Bruh. We failed so hard. Uh, um, yes. Yes. Come this way. Good. Good. No, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming over here. Wait, I have a bow and arrow. We absolutely suck with it. But I guess this is the time to practice it, right? Oh, wait. Did I get rid of the bow and arrow? Bro, I have the... Oh, no. It's right there. Chit and short bow. Bro. <laughs> How is this missing, though? Family is so lame sometimes. You got a really nice neck fan and all she can say is mid whatever nice <laughs> did you finally find your way over oh let's go let's go let's go let's go okay let's try not to die what level is my marksman it's very low it's very well also yes welcome delroy um five <laughs> it is five come closer so i can hit you please I still can't hit you. Why do I need a jump? Oh, shoot. I fell. Why can you hit me, but I can't hit you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I, he's impossible to hit. I'm going to end up dying because I can't hit you. Do I need to, like, aim for the tendrils? I don't... Huh. <laughs> I have a quest to kill the Netch. If I didn't have a quest to kill him, I wouldn't be trying to murder him. But, like, we need to kill him. You do have to aim for the tendrils. Good to know. Um, That's what I was trying to do, right? I eventually jumped my way up to here, but then I fell. Because I'm bad. Oh, that went a lot easier that time, I gotta say. I'm trying to hit him with magic, because, you know, that's easy. But my destruction skill is also very low. Huh. Okay, well. Back to training our, our marksman skill, I guess. Oh, shit. Helps me pull out the bow. There's only one way to get better. Well, outside of, you know, finding a trainer, but... If he isn't low enough, force the netch to move as they move, they lower. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Good day from Australia. Nice, dude. It's always amazing to see, like, the wide range of locales people come from. We're just going to use all of our arrows and probably still not have this thing die. Came with the console version of the game. Talks about how the level 5 is indicative of being unskilled in something. I would say so. <laughs> just, you know, from personal experience here, level 5 feels pretty unskilled. And do you... Ah! Uh, well, either we hit him. I'm assuming we hit him. Either we finally hit him or the guard that's been down there trying to hit him this whole time hit him. 
The other thing I'm curious about, though, I did hit him. Perfect. So we have 13 out of 100. I'm assuming we only get experience whenever we hit. Yeah, either that or it's like so little experience that it doesn't show. <laughs> One or the other. That is correct. Okay. So only get experience when we hit. So really, when you're this low level in something, the only practical way to level is to find a trainer. <laughs> Ought to be trained to 15 or 25 to 30. I can see, I can see the reasoning behind that, yeah. It doesn't help I'm on difficulty 21. Every time we level up, we're raising the difficulty another three points. So, for magic, it doesn't really change much. But for melee, and I, I'm pretty sure marksman as well, it makes things a bit harder <laughs> to, to do anything. You shouldn't be able to teach yourself train enchanting for the sample. You should visit a trainer. Logically, this makes sense. The game devs tried to capture this feel. I don't know. Oh, we did it. Let's go. And like, I don't know, man. I kind of agree with that. But I kind of don't at the same time, you know? Like, if you know next to nothing about shooting a bow and arrow, just as an example... Um, you don't really need someone to teach you, right? As long as you know the basics, how to notch the arrow, pull back the string and fire, you can get pretty good at aiming the bow and arrow. Um, not anymore. I never did it like professionally or anything, but I grew up in a family of hunters. Uh, so I shot <laughs> a bow and arrow a fair bit as a kid. Um, it takes a lot of upper body strength. I agree, it does, especially depending on the type of bow you're using. But I still feel like you can train yourself <laughs> with it, right? By just doing it over and over again without having a trainer to help you do it. Um, and even like the strength aspect of it, if you keep with it long enough and just you repeating it over and over and over again, you'll be working those muscles, building up that strength that you need eventually right but um but i get where the game devs were going at the same time as well agility in this game capture the logic i suppose what level is your agility it's not high but it's not super low either 51 yeah it's like right there in the middle right there in the middle my intelligence is super low but uh, whatever <laughs> it's considered above moderate nice did not know that. This is my first time actually playing through the game. I know very little about Morrowind. I forget. Death of a Taxman. Beauty and the Bandit. Who actually asked me to kill the net? I know somebody asked me to. Uh, nope. That was the, the dream when we were sleeping. Death of a Taxman. I don't remember where we... <laughs> sold those tax records to so huh. do you remember a direct quote or the word that was hyperly no this was okay so we started Morrowind played for a little bit um at the time we were only playing every other week now we're playing every week but anyways and then Final Fantasy 16 came out <laughs> and that took much longer to play through than expected um and then we came back to it and decided to play it every week because I really miss playing it and enjoy playing it. Uh, but anyways, so <laughs> most of the quests and stuff that I have here are from a few months ago. So I don't remember much. I just remember at some point somebody asking me to take care of that thing. Try N for Netch. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. N for Netch. That's a solid no. <laughs> That's fine. I'm pretty sure it was somebody in this town. So. Uh, so if we look through, we might be able to find it. Breeding Netch, maybe? Aha! Oh. Well. 
That was it. <laughs> I guess it wasn't actually a quest, maybe? And just a request, right? <laughs> maybe it was more request than quest. Uh, <laughs> maybe that was it. We will try looking it up, but... Betty Nutch. Breeding Nutch. There's a pair of them that wander north here. They come near the town a few times. We drive them off. I'm sure they'll be back unless someone does something. We did something. Uh, Wadarku? <laughs> uh, so maybe if we talk to him, maybe he'll have something for us. Ah, which was you. Breeding Nutch. The Nutch just north here are dead. Good. You save Wadarku lots of trouble. Again, I think it just gave us some... Um, you know, some of this with them. <laughs> they like us a little bit more, more than anything, like. Which is fine. And I noticed there's a boat here. Uh, we're fine. No, after all of that, I want to, I want to take a nap and save. We're going to leave, like, in the middle of night, though, because after the travel time, I'd like to get where we're going during the day. It's, like, 13 hours-ish rest. And then since we did that, we're allowed to save. Okay, yes. Now hop on that boat. So we can get where we're going, or try to get where we're going. You there. Travel. Cool and hlaod. Make it quick, Those Outlander. would be your hlaod. I mean, that's closer to where we're trying to get. But really, we're trying to get here, <laughs> on the other side of the continent. Where is? There's hlaod. Such a mean Ebenhart. Uh, what was the name of the place again? It was Tell something another. <laughs> so I know the general area of it. Oh. Beauty and the Bandit. Next. Tell Arun. Arun? Tell Arun or Tell Arun? One or the other. Uh, I don't know if I know where Cool is. I'm going to go there just because I'm curious. Oh, God. Did the game freeze? No, it's gone. It's doing I'm its waiting. thing. Oh, that's farther north. Well, I mean, I wonder if they'll just continue to take us around. If nothing else is a new town that we now have on the map. That's handy. Has Who are you? Greetings, are you in need of transport? Transport Sphere will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth in Solsheim for a small fee. I don't think we're ready for that yet. We'll do that later. I'm not. <laughs> like I said, I know very little about Morrowind. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to keep taking us like around the island. Eventually, we have to get to the other side. Yeah, okay, so now we're on the northern part of it. Don't press your luck. You're on your honor. Are you a... Uh, okay, you're you're the, the ship master. Who are you? Oh, you're also a ship master? Uh, maybe... You might be a ship master for Tamriel Unlimited, though. Jared Fast Travel? Shipmaster, run a trade route. God, I've got some spare room on board if you got spare coin. Oh, God. I... Oh, man. I don't know who's from here and who's from not here. <laughs> Jurid is the modded. Okay. So let's not touch Jurid. Thank you for that. I probably should just uninstall it for my first playthrough, to be honest with you. But I went through all the trouble of installing it, and now I just don't want to uninstall it. Ugh. Come oh, on, then. Calm Say down. Something or ah, move perfect. On. That's where we're headed. Thank you, lady. Oh, I like this place. Hey, 
Okay, I was hoping to get here during the day, but I didn't realize how many stops we were gonna have to make. So it's not exactly daytime, but at least the sky is super fucking pretty in this game. And I just, I love the architecture. All of like the mushrooms and trees and whatnot. It's just, it's more high fantasy than like Morrowind or, uh, or sorry, it's more high fantasy than like Skyrim or the little bit of Oblivion that I played. And uh, big fan, big fan of that. I am one without it for a first playthrough, but it's done really immersively. Mushroom trees, I know, right? You'll be back soon. Yeah, no, take your time, man. Get rude to ask me text-based questions if you need my help. I'm happy to help. Appreciate you, dude. I really do appreciate you, man. Ooh, okay. I'm assuming we're safe here, though, because I, I believe this is a normal town. Not like... Press F1, you're curious? Quick saving first. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's handy, huh? <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's really handy, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, magic menu. Bro, okay. Uh, one should probably be... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so one should probably be a healing spell of some sort. Um, we don't really use shield all that much. You know what would be nice, though? Tower key. That can be, like, down here towards the end, though. How do you clear? Can you not clear that one? You might not be able to clear that one. You say me have to explain, and you use your IQ to save my breath and bad explanation. I really... <laughs> uh, wait, what? The cat that's living in your walls? Oh, yeah, no. Good luck with your interview, dude. Yeah, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Sometimes I, I blank. One melee weapon spell, two ranged weapon slash spell, three equals heal, four, five, uh, six, lockpick. Oh, lockpick's a good idea, too. Oh, wait, right. Delete quickie. Okay, you must not be able to clear that one. That's fine. But so, one, and then that does that. Nice. Okay. Um. So, I don't feel like I really need... To change these because I can just quickly flip through them there but the spells I have no quick way of flipping through so I would like to actually bind a couple of those and lock picking is an excellent idea healing potions I don't use during combat so I'm not really like in dire need of having those in here but maybe just for convenience in the long run having like a basic healing potion Yeah, none of them do anything. Except for the one I just set. None of them do anything. Two, three, four, five, six, etc. You can fast scroll through spells. There must be a uh, option that I didn't set here somewhere. Ah, right there. Previous spell, next spell. Um, Can I use that button on the side? Aha! Yeah, that'll work. Although there's so many spells compared to weapons that I still think I want to have them quick set but like you might be a little bit delayed uh it's currently 155 my time <laughs> eastern standard time <laughs> I have no idea what that is in Australia if you shift click on a spell uh you mean to like delete it delete it though because I don't really want to delete any of these. But, okay, yeah. It's good to know. Most of the spells are from my, like, inventory and stuff. Chocobo's only a minute behind, it seems like. Oh, he's looking for himself, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, what was I doing? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, F1. So, healing spell, I definitely went on there. Um... Not the better healing spell right now. Tower key would be useful, but I think I'd rather have that a little bit later in the list. Uh, oh, you know what would actually be better for one? Demon Tonto. Have that there. And then number two can be the healing spell. 
number three could be... Uh, I mean, maybe we should have combat stuff all together. That makes a lot of sense. So where's Ring of Medusa's gaze? Is there any other ones that I want, like, really close? Hmm. Million, Thief Ring. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if the amulet of stamina, maybe. But I think I'd rather have healing first. And then amulet of stamina. And then we're going to do, I think, tower key. And then, like, here, just at the end somewhere, we're going to have berserk. I don't really use it that much, being a rogue, <laughs> technically. Kind of. Our build's fucked. But anyways. Uh, and then... Having... Our lockpick. Quad use is 15. Okay, so this one. So one, two, three, four, five. And then six doesn't do anything. Eight and nine. Nice. Okay. It's going to take me a little while to get used to that, but anyways, okay. Back to the game. <laughs> Just came back to the stream. There's a cat in your wall. Yeah, what about the cat in your walls? You never elaborated on that. <laughs> also, I just saw your other message, Chocobo. With <laughs> it's upside down. I get it. That's terrible and hilarious. Um, Serious hunger and serious thirst. Oh, that's like straight up draining attribute. I should probably drink and eat some stuff. All that travel, it turns out, uh, <laughs> took some time. I'm assuming we're still going to be hungry and thirsty, though, yeah. More food! More drink. It's 156 upside down. That's... That's what it is. Don't mind him. Strength is a virtue. Thank you. So that's outside. We don't want to go outside yet. We want to explore. It's your first ever Zoom meeting? To be fair, I've never done one either, to be honest. I don't think I've ever even, like, been on the Zoom website or anything. Oh, there's, like, literally nothing. Or, like, no path down. We just have to jump. I have heard, just from the tiny bit of reading that I've done on the game, that there are some places that you have to be able to, like... Oh, wait, there's a staircase here. I'm Citizen. dumb. Anyways, um... What was I saying? Oh, that you have to be able to, like, basically fly. <laughs> What's this, then? Oh, these are slaves? I would love to let you guys go free. I suppose it is my but I'm assuming these are your slave masters, and I don't I think I can deal with them. Make it quick. I'm not sure I even should deal with them right now. Go ahead, stranger. You're you're all slaves. Hmm. Okay. We might need to come back to you guys at some point. I would love to free you. Strength is a some place you need jump and or levitate. Yeah. Which is why I'm like very iffy about using the few levitation spells that I have. I'm glad I have the ring of slow falling because that should negate any fall damage if we go too high. But. We still don't have, outside of scrolls, we don't have a good way to jump super high. I'm also 30. Um, I used Skype going growing up. Now I use Discord, but I've never had to use Zoom. Okay, we are looking for... Got a stray, brought it home, and set up all this stuff in your basement. Motherfucker found a way into the walls. It's been two months. Wait. <laughs> so, what, he just chills in your walls, comes out and, like, gets food, and then goes back into the walls then? <laughs> like, that's great, man. Uh, Emma Set Brockes. Visit her friend, Emma Set Brockes. Okay. I'd also love if there's, like, somewhere to save after doing all that travel to get here. It's compensation, Nervarine. Nope. Which 
I mean, I think that's fair for that to be your biggest concern in that case, you know? Is the cat okay? <laughs> Ooh, an apothecary. I mean, not that we need anything, but I wouldn't mind saying hello. Yeah, I mean, do you offer training, actually? You do not. That's too bad. Speak, traveler. I would love to train our alchemy up to the point to where we can at least make, like, basic healing potions and shit at some point. Smith? Uh, I mean, new place. Maybe you'll have something so worth it. Quick. Ooh. Great shaft of nonsense. <laughs> Silence for five seconds on target. That's neat. Bone mold longbow. What's our longbow do? Oh, we have a short bow. One to ten. Um... <sighs> It's probably not worth upgrading right now with how poor we are with bows. It took us, what, 60 shots to take that thing down? <laughs> 1 to 18, 1 to 10. Rubs against you, but still won't let you pet him. Our uh, kitten, Charlotte, that we have was similar to that for the longest time. Like, she loved people, would rub up against them and whatnot. But as soon as you would go to pet her, she would just be like, no. <laughs> like, how dare you even consider touching me sort of thing, you know? She's shut out more lately. Um, but, like, when she's just walking around the house, she doesn't really want to be pet. But, like, whenever she's in certain places, like, she'll hop up on our deep freezer. And when she's on the deep freezer, she's all for being pet, just as an example. But other places, no. Like, <laughs> she does not want to be touched. Just seen in... I felt, I guess, but not by you. Look, you get the point. Now, you know what? No, hold on, cancel. I don't actually need to buy anything from you. I have a shit ton of crab meat I could just go outside and cook for a year or two. Select them out when you pick things up. You can pick one up from a stack by holding control. I knew the entire stack by holding shift. I did know that. But I didn't know control. For, uh singles Ooh. <sighs> I would love to get our restoration skill up more but we're able to train that reasonably well using that healing spell it's slow but it's going destruction would be really nice and it's super cheap so we're gonna get a couple levels in destruction uh okay only one more because I'm kind of poor but I'll try to remember that she's here for training later. Unless we find someone else, I guess. Yeah, I didn't know the single. Anytime I needed, like, to use a single something, I would just, you know, pick up the whole stack and then eat it. I didn't, you know, like that. I didn't know about the... Yeah, about that. But whatever. Local and double click. Does it leave, like, a permanent mark? Oh, that's neat. That's really cool, too. My god, man. Okay. This is good stuff. I'm My sorry. memory is so piss poor that this is very useful <laughs> stuff to know. Um, destruction slash rest. Hold on. Just that. And then it puts a little red square. That's dope. That's really cool. Good luck again. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Inside up here when you... Oh. When you hover. Okay. I should probably put one on the outside though. Because otherwise I'm not going to remember to like hover over it to be honest. But I'll just put like trainer on the outside and then I can just hover presumably uh, maybe I put it a little too close you know what it's fine there we go it's possible it's good enough <laughs> that makes perfect sense honestly yeah 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 cat tax in discord wait what cheese is it cheese cuz Noodle, all we call every time she gets cheese, she calls it the cat tax. Oh, he's a cute guy. 
<laughs> he looks a little angry at the same time. <laughs> In that second one, he just looks menacing. <laughs> like, my god. But yeah. He looks healthy and angry, but, you know... <laughs> I'm sure as he warms up more, he'll get more and more cuddly. Oh, cheese tax. My bad. Cat tax, cheese tax. Close enough. Ooh, an enchanter. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Oh, God. You have all kinds of stuff, but I'm assuming that's a skill book, at least. Um, Demon longbow? That's interesting. Peacemaker. Paralyzed for 10 seconds on touch. That's pretty cool, too. Not gonna lie. Paralyzation's pretty nice. Amulet of Frost of opening? That's only 20 points, though. Our daily spell thing lets us do more than that. Okay. We're not gonna buy anything from you, though. We're poor. But where's this person? We're we are looking for a person. There is a reason we're here, after all. Don't take, for God's sakes, don't click the wrong button. So you know if you're napping on the couch, you'll be kissing your nose like Charlotte did. Oh my God. Charlotte's breath stinks too. Not as bad lately as it was when we first got her, but it used to be real bad, man. I was so mad. <laughs> like, because I was trying to sleep and she just started licking my nose and she smelled terrible. Like, it was impossible to sleep after Anytime that. you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. Ooh, blue book of riddles? No, wait. Here to present all manners of posing and puzzling riddles. Convention of polite? Uh, no. I thought maybe that would like help us with those uh, elementals. I mean, we passed all the riddles anyways, but you know. Thought maybe it would like be connected in some way. Go Make ahead. it quick, Outlander. Either of you are who I'm looking for. Oh, you're also an enchanter, huh? Interesting. Living quarter seems like the best place to possibly find this person. So but maybe not. You're a spellcrafter. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Why is there a thing on the map? Is it? Go Make ahead. it quick, Outlander. Is it if I go up there, does that lead somewhere? Man, I wish I had, like, a good ability to fly, because now I'm really curious what's up there. I smell terrible? That's rude. I literally just got a shower. Make it quick. Okay, it's probably fine. We probably don't need to go up there for anything. But what happens if we go down here? Have we been down here before? I don't... Oh, we're fine. I'm waiting... What do you sell? Potions. And you? Faction members See, only. Wait, what like... faction? Uh, background? Alchemist and spell right. Your trade. Alchemist. Okay. That's it. That's all, it's all you're going to give me. You're an alchemist. Well, I kind of figured that out myself but thanks anyways I guess Smith. you're Boy, not a true. woman I'm pretty sure it's a woman we're looking for you've been up here Just generic trader I don't think so quickly out I have oh time. god <laughs> Beauty and the Bandit. Next. Emma Set Brockes. No. 
Also would really like a bed if there's one of those available around here anywhere. I don't feel like we're really missing anything here. Right? Yeah, nothing around the edge of the town. Hmm. So we must have just overlooked her somewhere. Well, and I guess technically it says her friend. So it might not be a woman. My time is Let's just double check everything. Nobody up there. Leave. Nobody. Oh wait, does this continue to go up? Uh, yes, but I don't think in any useful way. No, okay. It's not you. See, it's weird. Like, it's showing a location here, too, but... I wonder if that's just, like, from a different level, maybe? Just leaking over? It's neither one of you. It shows a whole nother location here on the map. I'm so confused. I'm Maybe waiting. it... Do we need to go up there? I'm curious. I can't help it. Hop to jump 40 points for 60 seconds. Will that be enough? Uh, maybe? I, I don't really want to use a carry in flight. Let's try using one of the hop toad. Oh, shoot. One. I forget how to use them. Oh, from the magic menu, I bet. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. No, it's empty. It's completely empty. Is there like a quicker way to go down? No. Okay. This is our life for the moment. You know what? Look, it's not safe scumming. It's fine. Make it quick, Outlander. Huh. You make it quick. Um. Okay, so nothing here. She wasn't down here. This tree is solid. Make it You're not the person. Outlander. You're not the person. There's no other doors here. Although it did show. It must be the one up there. The map is so confusing in this area. Did we check? An apothecary. Go ahead. It's not you. Maybe it's in that underground section. I mean, it's a different time of day now. It is daytime. Where was that underground section at? Oh, wait. What's this? This is new, actually. Strength is a virtue, friend. Well, I'm waiting. Is a different part of the underground, or is this the same? Strength is a virtue friend. You're not like one of the slaves, are Strength you? Is a what do you friend. want? Can we hurry this along? Hurry okay. time. Time. I'm listening. No. Citizen. Hmm. I thought this would be a relatively easy one. Oh. Oh, God. It's hard to sit cross-legged in this chair. It's not hard to sit cross-legged. It's more than big enough for it. It's hard to get cross-legged, I guess. Because the way the arms, like, twist and turn. She wouldn't be down here by the ship, right? She, he, whoever. The quote-unquote friend. No. Speak quick, 
quickly, Outlander, or go away. Another ship over there, is that? Okay, yeah, that's probably just the other town. The one that we had been to before. <laughs> just to make sure we're not missing anything. Beauty and the Bandit, next. Brought the note back to Mori. She seemed overwhelmed by its contents and is full of gratitude for my having delivered it. In return, she suggests I visit her friend, Emmaset Braquez, and tell Arun. She believes I would do well to meet this woman, so it is a woman, and that we might enjoy one another's company. Okay. Switch back to local map while we're here. Ooh, who are you? I know you look like a guard or something, huh? Yeah. My time so this is the other side of the underground. Quick. That's where we just were. Who are you? Nope. I'm assuming they wouldn't be too happy if we unlock the doors. Thank you very much, Delroy. I appreciate that, man. We do play Morrowind every week, at least until we finish it. So if you enjoy seeing me struggle <laughs> in Morrowind, then, uh, yeah. Every week around 12.30 Eastern Time. Until some point. <laughs> Usually two to three hours. Here's just another guard. Smith. Make it quick, Outlander. Not you. I like your chest. I want to break into it. I want to be a thief so bad, but I have to remind myself constantly that I'm not. I have, like, no skill in it. And it will end poorly for me. I'm positive. Okay, that doesn't look like a place, yeah, no, that we're meant to hop to. Should make a schedule post for your bot? Uh... Oh, wait, this is the person we're meant to. Ah, let's go. Wait, it's the trainer. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We literally made a note to help find this person. And I didn't notice the name because I'm stupid. Jesus Christ. Anyways. Yeah. I mean, my, my schedule is on Twitch. Uh, I just need to update, like, uh, Mondays going to Wednesdays. So, it should be pretty easy to find on Twitch, I think. Um, but yeah, having a quick link to it would be, would be handy for sure. Okay. Well, anyways, Maury sent us. Ah, so you're the one who brought Maury and Nellis together. Nothing has been seen or heard of them since then, but the bards are singing songs of their love. Well done, stream the barbarian. We need please take these as a token of my gratitude. Three restore health potions. Well, look. I suppose I have a move. Thank you. <laughs> All of that for three restore health potions and to get that off of our uh, list there. And you know what? Train me in destruction again because why not? Being able to use fire spells would be nice. People don't read bios. I'm not saying they need to read the bio, but there's like a schedule link on the profile somewhere, isn't there? I don't... <laughs> Look. Yes. Good night, Rue. Thank you for coming and hanging out, man. I appreciate you. Hope to see you tomorrow if you're not busy, man. Um, like I spend a lot more time on Twitch as a streamer than I do as a viewer, just because I don't have a whole lot of time to do stuff in general, but that's besides the point. Uh, so I'm not sure like how easy it is to find the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, the schedule on Twitch, but I do use the schedule at least, the Twitch scheduler thing. Anyways, we still have so many. Okay. Mysterious killings in Vivek. We were going to return to that eventually. Temple, Pilgrimage is the Seven Garyses. I think that's probably something to do with the main story. And I just want to clear up some of this for now. Larius Fair. Okay, he wants us to kill people, which I'm not against doing, but I'm not sure we're ready for. What about the jewels? 
That's right. Okay. East of Caldera, there is a cave somewhere east of Caldera. And in that cave are some bad people with some jewels. And we want to take care of that. Noodle, he's orange and noticeably has one orange brain cell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Is that like a, a thing with orange cats? I can't remember if it was orange cats or what, but isn't there like one color of cat that everybody is like, they're just idiots? All of them are. It's kind of rude, honestly, but it's also kind of funny. Who are you? Why is there a random person just standing over there? Are you going to try to murder us? Tell you what, we should eat or drink at least in case you try to murder us. But I am curious. Who are you? And why are you just standing in the middle of nowhere over here? You are mean. Okay. Oh. Oh. Your wounds are great. Oh, hi. I didn't know you had friends. Uh, damn you. Oh, my God. Just hit. Thank God. Okay. Well, y'all are dead. Is your stuff worth anything? Not really. Common pants, common shoes, basic weapons, boiled netch leather. Not worth it. You have anything good in your camp over here? Can I use your camp? A worn chest. Why is it marked as stealing? They attacked me. They're evil. <laughs> like, not to mention, they're dead. Just a regular bottle, a jug. Can we use this fire? No. Well, okay. It is orange cats? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. wrong with me now i'm hunger well we're getting ready to travel so it's probably not worth dealing with that right now what was my healing button eight nine nope two one two three three okay three is my healing button Slowly make our way over to the boat master. I'm pretty sure when we're traveling, because of the passage of time, our MP regens. Oh my god, you guys. No, come back. I was gonna kill you for the experience. Come back. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to kill you for the experience at least. And for the food, I guess. Food is also nice. Where is Boat? It's on the other side of the hill, I think. Uh, collision, please. Thank you. Um, over here. There we go. We're making, like, <laughs> the worst path around. Taking the worst path around, but screw it. We're getting there. Wait. Weren't you here somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> Literally, dude. It, like, we came in over there, and it was right here. And we went all the way around. Idiots. Oh, I need, okay, the quick save. I'm worried the game's going to crash. I'm assuming it's because I'm recording and playing from the same drive. I have to, like, guess that's why it hates us sometimes. Have we been to Voss? I think Voss is somewhere new. Orange cats are known to be crazy. Oh, okay. 
So it's like right near Telmora. I, again, I love the architecture of this place though. Very nice, but not where we want to be. Um, Sadrith Mora? Have we been there before? <laughs> Let's just keep going, man. We're just going to keep going random places. We'll get somewhere useful eventually. Oh, God. That brought us all the way back down here. <laughs> uh, okay. Where's the shipmaster at? Is that... Okay, you're on the ship. That makes sense. Travel to somewhere that I know the name of. I know of Ebenhard. And Ebenhard's near Vivek, so we can just run to Vivek. We've probably wasted like a thousand gold just traveling to random places without knowing where we're going, really. Anyways, <laughs> Ebenhard's near Vivek, and from Vivek, we should be able to hop on a uh, Silt Strider or whatever the hell they're called. So that'll more or less get us where we're trying to go. At some point, we also just need to make camp and cook. Because we have plenty of food, we just don't have very much cooked food. We haven't slept in a while anyways. Maybe it's a good idea just like off to the side of the road here somewhere once we get a little bit further from town. Set up camp, cook, sleep and save. And then make our way to Caldera. Oh, the game is starting to run so poorly. My poor, poor computer. Um collect the ingredients. Man, it's money. Might not be a ton of money, but it's money. We can use that money to train. Haven't really found very many items outside of like healing pots that I care about buying. We have definitely found more good weapons than we've bought. The only good weapon I'd say we've bought was the uh, Demon Tonto. And I think this we have to click, yeah. Cook. Meat. Is it... Crab, there we go. We ha- oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't mean to pack up. I want to cook. Crab, mud crab. I really wish we could do a stack. That would be super handy. Mud crab. Crab, mud crab. I wonder how much time passes each time we do this. I know some does. How many mud crabs did we slaughter? My god. Okay. So wait, no, it says it's 347. Mud crab. Oh. Shit, we're out. Uh, greens? We have something, don't we? I guess not. Man, I just wanted to cook something. Wait, didn't we just kill a Nixon? Is it gonna give us the time again? Hmm. Maybe time passes, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, sure. Rest until afternoon. Pick up. And proper save. Now continue to Vivek and murder the mud crabs while we're going. I'll take whatever experience we can get. And food's fine too. Die, you crab. Thank you. Dispose. That music change made me think something was attacking us again, but no, it was actually going back to normal. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a soap stride around here somewhere, and I'm not just crazy. Pretty sure. 
Not positive, I admit. But I think so. Ow. Can we use, like, our actual, like, underwater, use our axe? We can. Uh, get up. <laughs> Drowning isn't too good for us, I have found. Also, we got turned around, man. We didn't even make it across the water. I went the complete wrong direction, man. Hello, magic mud crab. Floating in midair. are dead. It's gonna call him a bastard, but like, he didn't actually do anything, I guess. It'd be kind of mean to call him names. Is that... It's the entrance to town. To town, to the city, I guess, is more like it. The Vec is freaking huge. There's a boat, dude. So Strider's got to be around here somewhere, right? If not, it's not a far walk back to t one of the other towns, but I'm pretty sure there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Nice. There's so many debuffs right now, but we're getting ready to travel, so I don't see the point in, like... Do we have, like, an intelligence debuff? Why is this going so poorly? No, we're just getting super unlucky. Okay. I don't suppose you can take me all the way to Caldera, can you? I don't remember if they have a... Uh... Nice. 16. I don't remember if they have a Silt Shredder or not. Balmora's close. And at Balmora, we can stop at home and actually Why get rid of our books, finally. Now? Like, remember to actually get rid of them this time. Uh, wrong way. We live on this side of town. It is foggy. Because of how dark it is, it looks like like pollution or something, you know, like smog. I'm glad there doesn't seem to be a moral system in this game. Because the fact that we're constantly having to steal from our own house would get kind of old. Pretty quick. Empty water flask. We should fill that up at some point, too. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to drop off. We don't really need the Ring of Healing anymore. I guess we could sell that. For now, I'm just going to store it because I don't feel like selling stuff. First Barrier Ring. Amulet is slow falling. Stamina. Okay, yeah. Keep everything else. Rest until morn. Drink, eat, and... We'll have crab since we have so much of it. We'll restore fatigue. Can't be mad about that. And proper save. Yes. To Caldera, which I think is just north, yeah. Of here. Not a far walk, and one that we've made a couple of times, so it shouldn't be too dangerous either. What do you want? Uh, nothing, actually. I want to go find these lady's jewels. Get her quest log off my thing. That's my biggest goal. Like, <laughs> the experience is nice and all, but really, I just want to clean up our quest log a little bit, man. There's too many things on it. And without markers, uh, it gets very confusing to my little brain where we need to go and do 
what we need to do with so many journal entries. <laughs> You're not going to be angry, right? You're not a breeding netch, so you should be fine. I don't think you're gonna bother us. Okay, yeah, no battle music. We should be fine. Uh, bum. There's even less creatures on this road than I remember. Okay, well we know we need to go east to Caldera, so this is Caldera. That's Ghost Gate. So it's gotta be somewhere between like Ghost Gate and here. So what I'm actually gonna do, cause we, we surveyed the hills, right? And I remember when I was looking at the, the map online that there was something else over here somewhere. So if we can, I'm gonna like start heading towards Ghost Gate and then try to like go up the mountain basically. And just like drop down over there somewhere. The question is, how did we get on the path to go skate? Surprised we haven't leveled up yet. I feel like between training and just natural skill ups, I feel like we've leveled a decent amount. Was this the path to go skate? No, but this might be the path we took. <laughs> Based off of our map up there, it seems likely. Okay, that is not where we want to be down there, though. Oh, you bastard. Oh, what? You're not dead? I thought these things were dying in one hit. Um. Hmm. I yeah, know our strength isn't hindered or anything. That's good. Yeah, okay, so if we can just, like, stay up here on the top of this mountain, that would be actually pretty ideal. So then we can just kind of, like, look over the edge and try to find any weird random openings that we couldn't see or get to from down there. For, for real? I realize our stamina isn't full, but, like, it's not that low either. My god, guy. Nothing here. I wonder... Should we have stopped at Caldera first and got a bed just in case we die in here? Maybe. There's always the good old-fashioned run for your freaking life, though, plan, you know? If all else goes wrong, we can always just do that. NPCs in this game might chase you forever, but they're not exactly the smartest NPCs I've ever seen in a game. It's still confusing to me that our unarmored skill keeps slowly going up whenever... We're very clearly armored, man. I think we have a full set. We have boots, cuirasses, greaves, gauntlets on both arms, helm, pauldron. Oh, we're missing a pauldron. When did that happen? <laughs> have we always been missing a right pauldron? Or is that... No, that's the helm. Yeah, no, we just have a shirt on our right... Well, son of a bitch. Okay, so we need to buy a right pauldron at some uh, at some point. Um, that looks like a path. I mean, I guess it could be down there. This place we're looking for. Bro, really? You want to fight? Well, you might win because I can't hit you. <laughs> Come this way. Bro. Um, 
Man, our agility's like half full. Our stamina's like half full. There we go. Oh, okay. We've been in that one. It's not that one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, quick save again. Did the quick save? Yeah, there it goes. So maybe it is like over here somewhere. Oh God, oh God. Oh, oh I'm glad we're alive. Is there a cave over here? Yes. Shushishi. I think that's the name of the cave that I saw on the map. Are you... Okay, you are coming over this way. You're dead. <laughs> GG, you tried. I'll give you that much. You didn't do much, but you tried. Oh, well, you're angry. Oh, you have magic? Oh, God. Uh... Okay... I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it to be easy. I didn't expect to, like, almost die instantly, man. Mm. Potion of Reflection. That's probably more for, like, spells, I'm guessing. Where's the Ring of Medusa's Gaze? Hold on. What did I have that equipped to? Two? Uh. Oh, come on, dude. He's literally frozen right now. Why? <laughs> God, everything sucks. Okay, you're dead. Okay, ring of Medusa's gaze and then hit him. He resisted the magic. Don't resist the magic. Wait, are you frozen? You're frozen. Let's go. Okay, one down. Now, the real question is, are there more, and do you have a right pauldron? Silver Spark Axe. Shock damage, three to seven points. I mean, it does less regular damage than ours, right? Yeah, by a fair bit. What's the weight? It is lighter. And that shock damage on touch would make up for a decent amount of the damage. And since it's enchanted, we could use it for magic enemies, like phantoms and stuff. I'm going to take it. And we'll give it a try. Save in case. Crash. Okay, how many bandits... Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ, you people deal so much damage. <laughs> Why do you hurt so bad? Um, We're going to end up dying here. I guess we should have went and saved somewhere. I didn't expect it to be this bad, man. Most of the, like regular enemies that we fight aren't that bad, you know? We can do this, though. We can do this. Let's go! <laughs> okay, she didn't even hit us that time. Iron Warhammer. It's not worth it with the weight. Weight to value on everything else kind of sucks. Also, this is a kind of axe is this one handed. Is that what our normal axe is? No, it's two handed. So I wonder if we're as efficient with it, with it being one handed as we are with the dwarven battle axe. Okay, obviously we're going to need this out because if we come across anyone else, like this is the only way we've even kind of been able to deal with them so far. Real question is how many people are going to be down here? Oh my god. What is- Oh no! Where did you come from? 
When did a second person get here? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. One is bad enough. When did two show up? <laughs> Uh, oh, of course, now you want to fight, too? Come on, dude. Just let me hit you, please. Thank you. You should rest and meditate. I don't want to go up another level. <laughs> if I go up another level, that means things are just going to get harder. Okay, first barrier's ring. Since we're out of ring of Medusa, or the Medusa's gaze, we can use that. Uh, we should have used that first. Give me my shield, please. Pull out the, pull out the axe. Pull out the axe. Pull out the fucking axe. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is so scummy. This feels wrong. It's within the rules technically, but it feels wrong, dude. Okay. No, I don't want to cast again. I want to pull out my fucking axe and murder this dude, please. Hayloth? Jesus, man. Okay, 3 to 20. That's decent. Lockpick? Probe? I still don't understand what the probes are for. I should have asked earlier. I mean, I could just look it up. Oh, there's a slave key? Wooden staff? No. Boots, greaves... Hmm. <laughs> Cloth bracers. Fortify endurance. Artificial person. What's up, man? Welcome. Quick save in case. Crash again. Please tell me there's nobody else here. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's just those two. But where did that one come from? Was he stealthed or are we just blind? Did we just run, uh, like, right past him? Like, how did he get behind us and start beating on us like that? I'm, like, this place scares me. Oh, another thief ring. It's not actually worth that much, is it? But we'll take it. Roll of gem fear. That's soul trap. It's, could come in handy at some point. Another gem feeder. Left bracer. No. Uh, bargain stuff. No, it's really not worth it. Restore willpower though. And moon sugar. We do like our moon sugar. Gem feeder. Unhinging. Sheen and lots of okay. I do remember alcohol being, like, really good in the game. Open a locked chest to get a scroll to unlock stuff. I like it. Hello? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> well, oh, okay. We got unstuck. Oh, man. I thought we were screwed there for a second. Okay, those are the slaves, I'm assuming, or just people that have been stolen in one way or another. But you're not why we're here. Oh, God. Please be a reasonable person to deal with. No, you're not a reasonable person to deal with. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bro, that, <laughs> that was scary. That scared the shit out of me. I thought for sure we were dead. Okay. Um, Potions, please. Where's my restore health? Interns, what? <laughs> the people that are locked up, the slaves? I mean, basically, same thing, right? Shirt, common pants, cheap rising force potion. I don't know what rising force does. 
but I kind of want to drink it. Wait, does that levitate? Oh yeah, it's levitate. Oh, so we can just fly. For eight seconds. I didn't realize that said trapped at first. <laughs> I'm really glad we had the freaking key and apparently that like dissolved the trap. Uh, you can go free. Unlock. Goodbye. You can also go free. Unlock. Goodbye. You guys are free! Uh, I mean, apparently you would rather just stay here, but like... If you don't want to stay here, you are allowed to leave. I unlocked you. We still haven't found this lady's jewels, though. God, there's a room? And a pit of fire. I guess that's probably what we were supposed to use the levitate spell for. Or levitate potion, rather. A little late for that now, though, ain't it? Um... Is there anybody in this room? If we see anyone else, we're just gonna run away. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna run away. We're coming back, though. We're just going out. We're gonna camp for a little bit, you know? Maybe get a good rest in. Get our, get our healing spells and stuff back. We do have that hop scroll. We could just hop to the next area. Where's a good place to camp? Oh, Jesus, not here. Oh man, the one downside of freaking camping though is that we're gonna level up. And the more we level up, the more we raise the difficulty. Okay, I don't wanna camp right outside the bandit thing. I know technically there's like no way they're gonna come out and interact with us in any way or anything, but it feels wrong. We did that once and that was, I don't know, felt scummy. So I wanna like get up on one of these hills or something. Yeah, camp with all the cliff racers, you know? So they can interrupt our sleep constantly. If I don't dispose of the corpse, I'm still working under the assumption that not disposing corpses means they don't respawn. Here we go. This looks like a decent camping spot. Just gotta be careful you don't like roll down the hill in the middle of the night. Sleep. It's 2 p.m. We're making camp until morning if we don't get attacked, which we didn't. All right. Um, all right. We want strength, as always. We want agility, as always. Willpower. Maximum fatigue. Again, getting more of that would be nice. Being faster in general would be nice. We are working on slowly getting our intelligence, like, skills up. <sighs> Times two is not terrible. Personality, I mean, I've accepted that nobody's gonna like us in this game. Endurance, that's our health, right? And health per level. And your maximum fatigue, but we have no multiplier on it. So willpower. And resisting magic would be really helpful, too, because magic hurts <laughs> us a lot. So... Yeah. Guess that's what we're taking. Pick that up. Drink again. We need to collect water soon. Eat some more crap. Or actually just clean up our inventory. Eat something else. And then... We ate. We drank. We picked that up. Difficulty. Difficulty goes up to 24... And then save. Back into the mines we go, man. To get absolutely wrecked, I'm sure. What was it? Was it two worth Medusa's gaze? Yeah, two. It's 
it's not strictly necessary, but it definitely makes dealing with enemies easier whenever they're, you know, paralyzed. Are those slaves ever gonna actually leave? Maybe they're maybe they'll be gone now that we took a nap. Are they gone? Okay. Thank goodness, man. I was kind of worried they were just going to stay there forever. Alright. We're going to try to sneak, but our sneak is... Garbo. I mean, maybe you're friendly. You know? Maybe you don't hate us. Wait. Wait, are you actually friendly? You do not please us. No, you're red. Oh wait, that's because we were crouched. Hello! What do you want? I'm just here for the family heirlooms. Heirlooms, ha, huh? Drozure has found plenty of heirlooms. They just seem to fall into his pockets. In fact, Drozure just found a few new pieces earlier today. Took them from some Nord woman. Nord woman. Cried like a baby, she did. Oh, my precious jewelry. Yeah, about that Nord woman. You've met her, huh? What has that got to do with me? Drozur is in this for cash, not for some ridiculous sentiment. No more to say to you unless you've got a better offer. Um... I just want the jewels. I'll bring them back to her and then give you half of what she pays me. I mean... He didn't hurt anybody, and if we pick this, we probably have to fight him, so... Interesting bargain. If the woman pays you what she says, that would be a great deal better than what Jujur can get for them from our associates. Sounds like a fair deal, friend. I'm sure you come back with my share, though. Jujur has friends who wouldn't be happy to know he's been cheated. Okay. Goodbye. Is there anything else here? Or are the rest of your associates that, like, are in this cave, are they still going to attack us on site? No. Fresh game. Go free. Oh, more slaves. Go free. Yes, honored guest. Nice. No more interns for us, man. We pay our uh, our associates. All right, I'm going to I mean, we could just screw the guy over, but like we'll keep our end of the bargain. Before we do that, though, I do want to know what's on the other side of here. So, scroll of hop toad. Even with the slow fall ring, I don't think we're gonna make it over here without that. I definitely like levitate better than <laughs> jumping really high and falling really slow though. <laughs> Cause like this is kind of annoying <laughs> I just want to go down please let me on the ground I would somebody has to have like levitate scrolls or something wait does this hook up to the other no okay Maybe it does. We're getting pretty close to the other thing. Oh, it's one of you! I remember we fought one of these not too long ago. The Shulk. Well, I say not too long ago. It was like last... Last time we played last week. Oh, God. Don't fall... Falling would prove bad. Is there anything over there? No. We bought some torches, did we not? Wait. Ah, it's because we had our weapon out. Okay. Oh my god, dude. I thought we fell... Oh, I was scared shitless. Oh! Is this where that guy... That's how he got behind us. Okay, so there was nothing in there, though. It was kind of pointless to go in there. 
Does that actually put the torch out or is it still burning in the background? I hope it puts it out. Okay, so to keep our end of the bargain up, we need to go to Caldera, which is this way. Again, I wish we had a levitate scroll or potion or something. That'd make getting up here so much easier. Or if we could just Skyrim hop up the freaking mountain. There's got to be like a way around somewhere. I'm glad the rain ended. That's handy. Here we go. I guess the real question is, like, once we get over there, is there an easy way to come back? Because I don't think there's any, like, easy way... Oh. Never mind. Maybe I lied. I was going to say, I don't think there's any easy way up this mountain, but... This looks potentially climbable? Uh, or not. The way we fell down that section makes me think maybe not. What? <laughs> Strength minus 15. Endurance 27. Minus 27. How did he do so much damage to us? That was just a Nick sound or, or the other thing, right? Okay, well, if we potion to cure disease, we should have one of those. Restore intelligence. Flynn, Matze, cure common disease. So will that cure us? Um, no? Oh, wait. Isn't there, like, a special potion to get rid of blight or something? How did we get blight out here? You're a blighted Nick sound? Do blighted creatures normally roam the normal world? I thought they were only beyond the ghost gate. Or did we, like, screw ourselves by... Exploring that area before. Well, this is new and inconvenient. So what, we need to visit a temple, I think? To fix that? Which the closest one is probably Ghost Gate. There might be one in town. I'll check that. Right after we heal. Come on. Just strength and endurance, so our spell casting shouldn't be affected. Although it's really not going well for us. There we go. I don't know how the game decides that we didn't bring him his cut. So I'm gonna check the town for a temple first, I think. And see, there's an armor, Tamori's house, house, manor, 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 house, guard towers. Do you have, you have a pawnbroker, clother, guild of mages, maybe? Although, I'm assuming not. Guild of Mages, okay. Let's check it at least. Uh, was it back this way? No, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? There, yeah. Up here on the corner. Guild of Mages? Do you have heals? You have training. Oh, you also do destruction training. Uh, sure. <sighs> Anyways, uh, we probably shouldn't have done that. 
that might make the blight worse. I don't know if it does or not, but it's definitely not going to make it better. Um, calm creature, doze, door jam. Weakness to common disease, no. Weapon eater, that's pretty cool. Armor eater, that's also kind of cool. But no, th none of those are heals. Let's hear it, Orc. I don't assume you have a temple here somewhere by any chance. Ooh. Alchemy ingredients. Oh. Oh. These are master alchemy ingredients. I do know that that would come in handy whenever we decide to start doing some alchemy stuff. Uh, We don't normally steal, but... I don't think they can see us right now. And... Assuming they can't see us, you know... I'll take your flask. Don't mind me. I didn't do anything upstairs. Uh, You guys aren't mad. You didn't see any of that, right? Nope. I hope this won't take long. Spells. Dire earwig. I wonder what sound does. Does that just like distract people? Ooh, a light spell. That could come in handy. Toxic cloud, that sounds cool, but no. I'm you poor and a terrible respect. mage. You're an enchanter. Unless you you're able to me? enchant my blight away. Ooh. Okay, you can travel me. Um, They're all guilds of mages, though. I can't remember which ones have temples. I'm sure Vivek has a temple somewhere. What, stranger? But I think we'll just travel up to... Ghost Gate. Because I, I know there's one there. A temple. Why do you eat and we're more or less heading that direction anyways. Just hopefully the blight doesn't get us killed before then. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Because it is taking our strength and endurance down by a lot. So we might more or less just want to like avoid fighting people. We should probably also save. Isn't there a uh, isn't there an inn here somewhere? Probably here. Yes. Yes it is here. I remember you. You're the one that doesn't do water, aren't you? Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, uh, nothing right now. I'll, I will take a bed. And then hope that Blight doesn't get, like, Once worse over time. Gets this room here. I guess not. <laughs> Must be upstairs again. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Honestly, I want to rest as little as possible. The less risk of that getting worse, the better. I want to get this blight dealt with before next time. Wasn't there a... Didn't we teleport out of Ghost Gate somehow? I guess it doesn't really matter because the person that we just talked to that could teleport us wouldn't teleport us there. So it was either like some different way. Maybe we used a scroll. I bet you I bet you that's what happened. We used one of our scrolls to teleport. Hello, I got your family heirlooms. 300 gold, that's really not that much. You risk your neck coming here. 
Kind of wish we wouldn't have agreed to give that guy half of the profits now. Just because that's not a ton of money. I can't believe we ran across a freaking blighted Nyx Hound out here, dude. That sucks so much. Can we climb the hill? We can, maybe. So far, so good. Need some roots. What did the roots give us? Fatigue restore. That's actually really good right now. Thank you. So our, our fatigue was low. Our stamina was low. Uh, world map. We're heading to Ghost Gate. Maybe. We're going to try to get to Ghost Gate. Come on, let me... Just let me over the freaking hill, man. Ah, oh, bro... Okay. Screw it. Where's my freaking hop toad? This is such a waste, honestly, but I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it going all the way around. Oh, wait, if Ghost Gate is... No, let's turn in the thing first. Turn in the thing first before he gets angry and does whatever he's going to do by sending people to us or whatever. Uh, I don't want to be too high whenever this wears off. Perfect. Oh, nope, not perfect. We're still, we're still very slowly falling. There must be, like, a potion to cure blight or something somewhere, right? Some other way of curing blight other than going to a shrine. Is it wearing off? It's wearing off. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> Had bad experiences in the past of, like, Skyrim and Fallout. You know, you hit a, a ramp that's a little too steep and you slide down it quick like that and then you just die when you hit the ground. I keep expecting that to happen. Oh, excuse me, sir. It's weird to me that, like, he doesn't care that we killed all of his friends. You know? Like, he's perfectly fine with that. 150 so gold removed. Matters. You're welcome. So little time. Do I like you enough to tell you about this? Bro, we gave you a good deal. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I was going to say, we gave you a good deal. But at the same time, we did just mention how we killed all of your friends. So, that's fair. Not liking us, I can, I can give you a pass on that. Uh... I say, hey, this will be a good time to try a restore agility spell. But then I realize we have no mana. We are out of magic. Okay, ghost gate, heal, and then bedtime, IRL. You're damp. You are damp. At least it looks... Wait. Who's angry? Okay, it's you. I'm fine with you being angry. For a second, I thought it was the Netch. And honestly, the Netch is a hell of a lot scarier than you are. Oh, man. They both respawned? I don't have the endurance or the strength to deal with this right now, honestly. Okay, take all... Did we even ever, like, invest in a anything that restores 
mana in any way? Probably not, because, like... Why would we? Unless the restore intelligence, but I'm assuming that's just, like, the actual skill intelligence. Let's so just do a standard potion of health, then. And honestly, I'm hoping we can just run there without getting into any more real encounters. At least there's not, like, an ash storm going on right now. I know there's, like, a very convenient road right here, but I also see monsters on that road. Are there... Okay, well, I guess there's creatures no matter which side of the road we go on. Uh... Where's my ring of slow falling? We're gonna want that. Or amulet of slow falling, that's what it is. Trying to avoid these things as much as possible. We can still take them in our weakened state, but it's harder. Oh, it's not the rat that's angry? I thought it was the rat. Not this thing. See what I mean, though? Like, we lost a third of our health just fighting a rat and a single cliff racer. That's why I'd rather avoid them if at all possible. Especially the slightly stronger things like that down there. But really, just anything. Um. Probably didn't need to use that again yet. Can I make it above this rock, though? Please? Yes, just barely. Just barely. Stamina's slowly coming back. Okay, we avoided that one. Can we avoid this one? God, there's a cliff racer up there, too. Oh, God, no. Okay. Uh, we'll just run. Just run. Keep running, keep running, keep running. As long as we have the stamina to get there, we should be fine. Which I think we do. Yes. No, we definitely do. It's right there, man. We so close. Uh, Cliff Racer, get, get fucked. Get in your shower and come in to lay down. Okay, I'm almost done, love. I just gotta figure out how to get rid of this blight, which I'm pretty sure we can do at a temple. Huh. Aha! <laughs> okay, so somewhere around here, there's a temple. I remember there being a temple. Tower of Dawn, lower level. I don't remember if it was upper or lower. I don't have um, a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. That's fine. I'm not asking you to. I'm just. Could you tell me where the temple is? Uh, the temple has healers and other services in the Tower of Dawn. Aren't we in the Tower of, of Dawn? Maybe it's, like, the upper levels. That would make more sense than having it, like, in the basement. Holy shit. We breeding. What'd we get? Anything cute? Kind of sleepy, but kind of cute. I like him. I'm sleepy, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> uh, that's Ghostscape normal. Is this temple? Maybe the upstairs. Um, I mean, as much as this looks temple-esque, no. There's no actual shrines here. So, not here. Up here. Aha! The temple! Okay. Um... I don't remember what each of you do. Can it be any of them to get the healing that I want? 
So it's very dark in here. You guys should light some more candles, you know? Will you tell me about these people? I'm sure I don't know how to find it. No. No, you won't. We might be able to look them up, but okay, just yes. Cure Blight! Let's go! Thank you. Um, Did you give us like a regular blessing too? No. I will also take the St. Maris blessing. Why not? Maris warding. Resist corpus disease. Well, <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily the most useful thing, but... Uh, I Let's mean, I'll take it still. Move along. I, I don't remember if they had an inn around here. I mean, we can go... We fell. We can go outside and camp if we have to. But it is time for us to save. And finish up for the night. I would love a proper bed to sleep in after all that, you know? Catching blight disease. Almost dying to various creatures. A proper bed to sleep in after all that sounds wonderful. Keep moving. I'm literally moving right now, dude. Maybe you should keep moving. <laughs> Instead of just standing still there staring at me like some sort of creep. That's my suggestion. Was this the way? That's back to the temple. Holy shit, dude. Did we miss it? Try not to use all of our stamina. Okay, to go skate. Because this... Oh shit. I forgot something. Oh no, okay, good. Whenever the blight was cured, it did come back. I remember last time we got like blight or something, there was, oh no, it was uh, some creature we fought. Gave us a permanent debuff until we took like a specific potion to heal it. It was our, like a permanent debuff to strength or something along those lines. I thought it would be the same thing with blight, but thankfully it doesn't look like that's the case. Um, yeah, we only have 30 Magicka. That's seems like utter trash. Wait, is something else mad at us already? Another cliff racer. Imagine dying now. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, wait, there's people up here. Are you just like a shop? There wouldn't be bad people this close to town, right? You guys are... You guys are chill. <gasps> you have bedrolls. Can I pay you money to sleep in one of your bedrolls? What do you train? I don't really have money. Um... You'll tell me about Soul Sign, though. Tell me about a lot of stuff, actually. No, I don't think so. I mean, you will. I just looked at it. Nah, neither one of you are willing to let me use your bed. What That's too bad. Why do you do Bastard. Okay, well, you know what? If you guys are camping here, then this seems like an excellent place to make camp. Granted, there are a bunch of cliff racers attacking. I don't know why they attack me and not you, but... I'm going to assume, I don't know. Maybe they just like elves. What do I know? We're gonna take a nap. Sleep, oh my God, it's illegal? What do you mean it's illegal? There's people sleeping right here. Okay, what about here then? Resting here is illegal. Bruh. Okay, is it legal to rest anywhere? I, I'm gonna have to take a potion. I was trying to, like, not use all of our potions today, but if we run across any more cliff racers, we might die. Or this thing that's running towards us right now. The wild war. Okay. 
Okay. This is far enough away to set up camp. Thank fuck. Um, Bedroom. Also, I don't expect this to work, but now that we have all this better stuff... Look at that. Masters everything. Okay. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff does, though. I think it'll tell us, though, won't it? If we, like... So, drain fatigue. That's not what we want. Restore attribute? Which one... If you click on ingredients, it'll change to possible recipes. Uh, I have nothing like, I know nothing though. This is the first time I've ever done it. Or not the first time, but I've never successfully made anything because our skill is non-existent. Also, welcome back, Delroy. Um, oh. So wait, click here. Yeah, see, so I, I know no magic effects of anything. That'll be useful for later, though. Scale. Okay, so it's the Trauma Root and the Scathe Craw. Uh, I mean, we have Master stuff, but our skill is so low, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't expect it to work, but... What is our thing? I do want to get at least decent at alchemy at some point. 14. So we're still, according to what you were saying earlier, we're still, like, very bad at it. Um, There was nothing in particular. I just happened to find a set of master stuff earlier. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'm going to steal it since there's nobody around and it's, you know, master gear. Uh, and since I got master gear, I was just hoping, you know, that it would work this time. But we're still obviously too bad at it. Interview went well. Hey, that's awesome, man. That's perfect. I hope you get the job, my guy. Eating ingredients grants you the same. Does it really? Only if the... Um... Only if the effect triggers, though, right? Or am I mistaken on that? I would gladly be mistaken on that. So, like, if I ate the crush fiber right here... If you eat something like bread, this item has no effect. You simply you fail to gain experience. Yes. Okay. 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 See, I'm slowly learning a little bit. <laughs> I uh, I wonder if that works for the food then with the the mod I'm using that adds like food and stuff. Um, because every once in a while I'll get an effect from that. Wait, you got the job. Very nice, man. So they just hired you on the spot. That's sick. I don't know what it's usually like there in Australia, but um, I live in America. And normally it's not, you know, hire on the spot sort of thing. That happens every once in a while, especially with, uh, like, places that are more desperate for work um, or for, for employees, I should say. But usually it's like interview possibly a second interview and then you know call within like a, a week or so actually i work retail full time is what i actually do now and uh it was like two months or something like that after i, I applied that i got called for the interview and then i got called back like a day or two later for uh for the job but they were pretty desperate for people at that time so like yeah it wasn't on the spot. You went to an in-store interview, but you didn't know what the Zoom meeting was. Only given to the people. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay, okay. So this was less follow-up interview and more, hey, you got the job. This is what to expect sort of thing. One of the largest supermarkets in Australia. Nice, man. So kind of similar to like a, uh, to like a Walmart sort of thing. I'm assuming there's Walmarts in Australia, yeah? Um, or is it just, like, grocery chain? Woolworth sounds familiar. I'm sure I heard of it at some point. I watch a handful of Australians on YouTube, so I'm sure one of them mentioned, like, going there to pick something up or something like that. You don't have Walmart in Australia. No shit. I'm surprised by that, just because they're, one, so prolific in America, you know, like, everywhere. Um, and then I know there's some in, like, Asian countries and stuff like that as well. Uh, 
I don't actually know... Are there Walmarts in Europe? <laughs> I don't actually know that either, I guess. I just know, like... Yeah. But, anyways, whatever. <laughs> just by being in the year 2023, you know... Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's not... <laughs> that's not hard to imagine. They are, if I'm not mistaken, one of the largest companies in the world, so... I guess there's no surprise there. Okay, technically I'm not allowed to eat because I'm being attacked. And that'd be against my rules. They operate in 20 countries? That, I mean, that sounds about right to me. <laughs> Just from like, you know, like I said, how prolific they are here in America. I'm not too surprised to hear that. I'm more surprised that Australia is not one of them. Okay, a water jug for water. Some food. Uh, not the crab. Clear up some of the inventory. See, like, I wonder if that, because that just gave us an effect. So I wonder if that gave us experience in alchemy. I don't remember what it was before, but I guess what we could do... Quick save, or you know what, just hard save, because I'm done for the night anyways. Stream 12, save, and then... So our alchemy is 77. We have a bunch of crab. That didn't take as long as I thought. Hey, it does. Okay, so it's only three experience points, but it does give us a little bit of uh, stuff. <laughs> Just check fucking ad. Wait, what? <laughs> Was there an ad on, on stream? I hope not. I don't run ads. I run one like at the very beginning and one at the very end, and that's the only ads I run on stream. I used to run them throughout the stream just to stop pre-roll ads because... I hate the idea of pre-roll ads, but um, I don't know. I just hated taking breaks constantly, and I don't want to run ads in the uh, in the middle of it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Twitch forced ad things. Yeah, that sucks. I wish there was a way for me to get rid of those two. If I had it my way, there would be no ads at all, man. Because uh, I don't really do this for the money. It's just a, a hobby for me. Just something that I enjoy. And if it turns into a job, awesome. If not, then that's fine too. Um, so, like, I don't really care about the income from ads. So, if I could just get rid of them, that would be awesome. But, yeah. Botswana? Canada. Bruh, how did I almost fuck up Canada? Chile? Chile? <laughs> China? Costa Rica? El Salvador? Swatini? I don't know that one. Guatemala, Honduras, India, Lesotho. I don't know that one either. Malawi, Mexico, Mozambique. Nam, Namibia. Bruh, I can't even pronounce half this stuff. <laughs> I've heard of a fair few of them, but I don't know. My geography is terrible. <laughs> you had a crack at stream and we have a similar opinion on ads. Yeah, never been a fan. I personally hate ads myself like just watching them and stuff too so that's part of the reason why i don't want to run ads uh if uh if if yeah if i had it my way but yeah oh well whatever it is what it is australia is australia isn't on that list i feel discriminated against <laughs> oh yeah i uh like i said i'm surprised i'm surprised there's no and there's no like uh European countries on that list either, is there? Yeah, not really, no. That is surprising. Why don't they put three ads with the ones you can skip just for more <laughs> options? I hate, like... So, I do appreciate that Twitch now does... If you run three minutes of ads, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, but if you run three minutes of ads, you get, like... What is it? 30 minutes of a uh, pre-roll being turned off it might be a little bit longer than that but regardless i do appreciate that they have the option of getting rid of pre-roll now with that and again um like if you take a break what i was doing i was taking a break like every hour or whatever and during that break i would run the the ads to get rid of the pre-rolls and like that worked but i just found a lot of times i didn't want to stop playing the game to take a break <laughs> like i should give more breaks but like I, uh, I just don't want to. <laughs> uh, yes, eating ingredients sounds like a great idea. 
I will go back to doing that. I was doing that whenever I first started playing because I was thinking along the lines of like Skyrim of learning what stuff does by eating it. But when I found out that didn't work, I kind of stopped and just selling it. But how much drugs do you need? <laughs> uh, no comment. But uh, I'm not even sure I'm legally allowed to say that word. Uh, <laughs> it's arguably far more efficient to level, level alchemy this way. Yeah, I would definitely keep that in mind. Like I said, I'll probably be going to with that going or doing that going forward finish inventory two allowing for more work that mechanic works some more when when you're level 15 you agree and will show its first problem oh nice so i'm almost there then to the first property thing that's handy oh boy all right well guys i think that's pretty much it i'm falling asleep mr noodles should be about done with their shower and they're wanting to go to bed um so I think we're going to have to call it there. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon uh, around 5.30 Eastern time for Final Fantasy X. And, of course, we'll be back next week with Morrowind. Uh, Delroy, nice to meet you as well. Thank you, my guy. Uh, I hope to see you next week if you're not too busy. Be, like I said, around the same time, 12.30-ish. Uh, but, yeah, have a good night, guys. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and be kind to each other. I always forget to say that. <laughs> I'm bad at this whole streaming thing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>